I think it's more interesting that Steve Harvey's there. Survey says the number one most interesting thing about this photo is Kitty the Sutter Eskimo brother. I'm a, I'm a like I told Puppy, I don't let men take me out, sir. I'm good. I'll do no damage. <laughs> So it looks like the threats that Cat Williams has been getting from the industry have done nothing to stop him or slow him down because he is still out here spilling tea on celebs and exposing some really creepy stuff. And this time he is now claiming that he has some footage of Steve Harvey allegedly engaging in a freak off with Diddy. Now y'all know how the streets have been saying that Steve Harvey allegedly pimped Lori to Diddy, right? Well Cat is claiming that this allegedly is a ruse by Steve to get close to Diddy for himself. Yeah, some very interesting reasons. Now Kat's revelations have set the internet on fire so yes of course we're gonna break it down. Now I've had to turn down 50 million dollars four times. Four times just to protect my integrity and that virgin hole I was telling you about. <laughs> right because uh, P Diddy be wanting to party and you gotta tell him no. Oh, you my. got to tell him no. I, I did. I did. Oh, See, I got the receipts for everything I'm telling you. That's why I can yeah, say I'm yeah, so I do. freely. Y'all, it's looking like more and more Cat Williams is determined to single-handedly take down the entire industry. Because y'all, the things that we've been hearing from him, absolutely mind-blowing to say the very least. And he has spilled so much tea about the industry, with starting off with stuff like Oprah being a handler for Hollywood, to her blackballing black artist, to Kevin Hart being an industry plant, Steve Harvey's toupee. I go on. Well, it's like every single time we think that he couldn't possibly shock us any more than he already has, he says something that completely blows everything out of the park. And this time, it's no different because he is now claiming that he has footage of an alleged freak off between Diddy and Steve Harvey. Now, Diddy and his freak offs have been a major trending topic on social media. It's freak offs here and freak offs there. It's FOs, FOs everywhere these past couple of weeks. But thanks to Cassie and her explosive lawsuit, where she laid it all out and bear for us to see. In her lawsuit, she claimed that Diddy would allegedly force her into intimate situations with men. The lawsuit said, the first time, Mr. Combs hired a man and brought the man to his home in Los Angeles. The man, Mr. Combs, and Miss Ventura wore masquerade masks and ingested drugs. Mr. Combs directed Miss Ventura to perform intimate acts with his man while Mr. Combs watched them. He got off to it while he directed Miss Ventura and the man to do specific intimate acts. The entire encounter lasted multiple days. Mr. Combs began to call the the arrangement of Freak Off or FO. Now the interesting thing is that several rappers and artists have been accused of being in Freak Offs with Diddy, with multiple names being on the list, including allegedly Will Smith, Kevin Hart, Usher, and a whole lot more. In her lawsuit, Cassie claimed that Diddy would often record the Freak Offs and keep copies of the videos. He kept such good records of the videos that he would always know whenever Cassie deleted one. She claimed that he had backup copies of everything and would download the videos and force her to watch them just to prove to her who the boss was. Well, in all that we've been talking about regarding Diddy's freak offs, one name that somehow hasn't been coming up is Steve Harvey. And according to Kat, this is because Steve has been smart enough not to align himself too publicly with Diddy. And this is why he has been able to fly under the radar when it comes to Diddy's freak offs. Now, a while ago, Kat came out to reveal that Steve had allegedly been pimping his daughter Lori out to Diddy. But as it turns out, there was a whole lot more that he didn't say. Like the fact that he used to have a little something something with Diddy himself. Allegedly. All allegedly. So let's break this down though y'all. So we can see if Cat's being crazy with all these things that he's bringing up. Okay so remember how Cat claimed that Steve had been allegedly pimping Lori out right? He pointed out how Lori had always been Steve's favorite. Even though she's not his biological child. I'm not saying that Steve was wrong to love Lori like his own child. But the thing is he treated her like she was his only child. I mean he even used to take her on dates when she was younger. Hey, um on one of our annual father-daughter dates to my favorite Japanese restaurant. And you just started talking to me about guys and you just told me that you, you know, always supported me and you'd always be there for me no matter what. And you loved me unconditionally. But when it came to his biological kids, the reverse was the case because he didn't seem to like them very much. I mean, he didn't even attend his own daughter's graduation. And an insider wrote, I went to high school with the twins. They were a few years ahead of me, but people always talked and all eyes were on them because of who their father was. He wasn't present at their graduation. And it wasn't only the twins that got ignored because he was basically a Debbie to his son, Roger for the first 16 years of his life. I didn't really have my dad full time into my life until I was 16. 
right? And don't even get me started on the poor second son, Winton, and how Steve literally got investigated by the police and CPS for putting hands on the child to the point where the boy had physical injuries on his body. TMZ recorded, according to the kid, Steve hit him with a belt and then a paddleboard, the kind used for hazing in fraternities. According to the police report, cops took photos of the boy's injuries, showing bruises on his buttocks and right thigh, as well as cuts on his leg. The police report says the boy told cops the beating was so brutal he had trouble urinating for days. Well, at first, the only T Cat had was the reason that Steve had spent so much time with Lori is that he was allegedly grooming her so he could pimp her out. This kind of added up with the things that the streets were already saying about Lori. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to shame Lori or anything like that. But for a lot of people, the fact that she always seemed to be in a brand new relationship had its own red flags that call for concern. And according to Kat, this is all thanks to Steve and his alleged matchmaking. But get this, Kat also claimed that Steve had allegedly been waiting for an excuse to slide Lori into Diddy's bed. And he saw his chance when Kim Porter passed in 2018. Kat claimed that Diddy was grieving and was vulnerable. So Steve allegedly took advantage of this to slide Lori right in. It probably helped that Lori and Kim were kind of friendly when Kim was still alive. But well, wasn't all that out of it for Lori to offer her comfort and condolences. She even paid Kim a tribute on Instagram writing, having a hard time processing this one. You were such a beautiful person inside and out. I'm so glad I told you how much I loved and missed you the last time I saw you. Your energy was truly something special. An angel on earth and now in heaven. RIP Mama Kim. Well, she went from calling Kim Mama to dating her baby daddy in only a couple of months. People were puzzled, wondering how she even thought that it was okay. She has gotten a lot of hate over this in the past, but Kat is now claiming that she was a victim and had no say in whether or not if she dated Diddy. But in the middle of this mess, there's one thing that caught the attention of the eagle-eyed fans, and that's the color of Lori's nail polish when she dated Diddy. Her nails were always painted white, which got people talking because y'all know what Cassie had to say about the white nails and the freak-offs, which is why people suspect that Lori was yet another victim of Diddy's F.O.s. Now, every time Lori stepped out with Diddy, sharp-eyed fans couldn't help but notice that her nails were painted with white nail polish. Now, why is this such a big deal? Well, in Cassie's lawsuit, she dropped the bomb that Diddy had a particular liking for the white nail polish. It wasn't just some quirky fashion preference, no. According to Cassie, Diddy made her wear white nails because he loved the stark contrast against the dark skin of the male escorts he forced her to cozy up with. And it wasn't just Cassie who fell to the white nail saga. Rumors started swirling that he pulled the same thing with young Miami because she sported white nails every time she was spotted with Diddy. The speculations went wild, hinting that she might have been entangled in Diddy's peculiar rendezvous. Which brings us to Steve. Now, no, Steve wasn't wearing white nail polish, but Lori did date Diddy after the situation with Cassie, and he already had a reputation for being violent with women. So you would think that Steve would try to protect his precious baby girl from Diddy, right? I mean, he always gave her preferential treatment, so surely he would try to put an end to the BS she had going on with Diddy. Well, not only did Steve not put an end to it, but he encouraged it, even going as far as to go on vacation with Diddy and Lori. People felt a type of way about this, because why on earth would Steve be okay with Lori dating a man who is as old as he is? Well, Kat is now claiming that not only was Steve okay with Lori dating Diddy, but he allegedly fell into Diddy's bed himself. All allegedly. Now, Kat is claiming that Steve was allegedly in Diddy's bed during the vacation, and that's the real reason that he was on that vacation. Allegedly, Kat's claiming that Steve allegedly pimped out Lori to Diddy, who was just deployed to get himself closer to Diddy. And I think y'all can see what this thing's going. FOs, FOs, FOs.